distance from Africa to here is about 1,800 yeah, kilometer. Right. How long? So maybe in the future we found older than 1.8, mm -hmm. if true. Mm. Okay. Mm. If not true, maybe the multi-regional theory. Multi-regional means uh, different part of the regions in the world. They have their own their own human evolution. Mm. Okay. So. Both can be applied to okay, but not until you found for the fossil. fossil. But surprisingly, the the stone tool, what we call hand axe, mm. here older than any part of the world, the oldest one, because in Africa the the oldest hand axe is just one point five minute. Yes. So why these people produce the oldest one? Mm. So it give us. Some clue regarding the multi-regional theory, there is a big possibility. Because the, the main three criteria for the prehistoric people is the first one, the food and the water, you know. So they choose, always they choose uh, adaptation, a uh, lake environment. So here we have the old lake which can supply the food and the drinks and the, the most important thing is the river gravel because they want to make a stone tool they must have the river gravel the raw material so what happened here the Perot river the normal Perot river now is already changed the direction five times this the old Perot river valley okay it's already dry this is number three and number four Perak River because the Perak River today is number five there's already chain directions so when they left the old one they left all the river material from the first one uh, so what happened all scientists and paleontologists believe the first man going out is Homo erectus and the oldest Homo erectus is the missing man in Georgia okay. 1.7 million okay but we we'll hear more than 1.83 million. Okay, there is a big possibility also because uh, some uh, researcher believe there is a different group already in continental All right. in the different region. Maybe Homo habilis, maybe Homo erectus, early than Africa. Uh, there is a big possibility, but no proof yet. No So that's why uh, the finding of the skeleton or any any part of the body here is very important to to confirm whether it's Homo habilis or it's a real Homo erectus, you know, or different species totally. Uh, there is a big possibility also. This is what we call the sword because of the impact. The whole valley in Bukit Bunuh at 1.83 changed mm -hmm. because of the high temperature and high pressure. Mm. Okay. It changed to a new rock, what we call a sword. So the whole landscape, 4 square kilometer full of this. Mm. Okay. So this is an example of stone tool embedded inside the sword. Mm. Mm. So right now we're looking for any evidence of human, the bone or the teeth. But the important thing is the teeth because from the teeth we know the species. Whether it's Homo erectus or Homo habilis mm. or totally a new species. I believe a new species. You, you think so? Yeah. How big an area are you looking at? Huh? Uh, this is a very big area but the, the impact area is about 4 square kilometers. The crater mm. four kilometer. Mm. Okay, so the the, the meteorite come down. Mm. Okay. So it make it the impact. Yeah. Oh. The, the crater. Mm. So this crater is four kilometer. So you found the rim here, mm. here mm. in the center of the impact. Huh. Mm. You found it. Yeah. Okay. 
So it's like we throw the stone on the water then. Mm. After you throw it's come mm. small so small hill the center. When actually uh, I'm already here in eighty seven, eighty eight, eighty nine. But during that period it's a rubber tree. Oh. The the history of rubber tree plantation they just dig up where they want to plant. The plant. Okay? Oh. So at that time I didn't see any stones, you know? Mm -hmm. But in start 2001, they changed to oil palm. Mm. When they change to oil palm, they need to do the terrace. Mm. You know, they cannot plant like mm. rubber mm. plantation, just dig up the whole way mm. where you want to plant. When they start to terrace the hill, mm. and then the stone come up. Mm. So this. And how they call you? No. <laughs> then? When they, when they start to plant, I'm with, uh, still on the survey process. Oh my god, it's really a lot of rock. But during that time, I thought because my geological eye, I thought it's just a volcanic rock. Yeah. You know? oh. So we sent the sample dating in Japan and give a result 1.7 to 1.8. Then it cannot be volcanic rock. This was 2001. Uh, 2001. So because uh, during that period, we already started <coughs> in terms of volcanic. So. So I'm checking, what is this? And I'm discussing one of the professor, uh, the famous uh, geologist in Malaysia, Professor Jia Hong Jing. Mm -hmm. So he came and we sit beside. He gave me a clue, maybe this part of the meteorite impact. And did you know there was a meteorite impact before that? No, no. Mm. Even in my, my undergraduate, it just touched a little bit because no evidence in Malaysia during that time. Yeah. So when uh, Professor Chia told me about that, I start researching. Uh, researching and doing the analysis. We cut the rock, oh, put under the sample, oh. under the microscope. What is this? You know? Then start to compare, then come out the idea of Subot. Different mm. here in the yes. matrix, yeah? Yes. what we call a phenocrase. Uh, this is a stone tool. And a lot of stone tool on the rock. Yes. Rock. Yeah, so this site was used. Continuously. Continuously. Because they have a lot of rock material <coughs> to make a stone tool. And they have their lake environment from in front of us, all lake. Underneath right now, yeah. now no more really. No more. Yes. Mm -hmm. Much bigger. You you yesterday you cut the Raban Lake. You mm -hmm. see that? Mm -hmm. yeah. So during uh, forty thousand years ago, three times bigger. All the Longong Valley is mm -hmm. under the lake. Mm -hmm. Using for scraping, so the mark, so the scrap like this. Huh? Okay. Yeah. So the stone tool everywhere because the cut for the road. Okay. 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 It show the manufacturing technique. This is not the normal break, uh, oh, breaking, you know. They have the retouch, mm. you know. They have the arts there, lah. Already open, you know. The layer is already open, so mm. because from top is very clear, mm. but the one inside the rock, mm. what is the look like, the shape, you know? Mm -hmm. So I put in the CT scan. You know the medical doctor yes. using CT scan. Mm. So I bring it to Kubang Keren, my medical school is free of charge. Bring the stone there and make a CT scan. You know, it's really show down also down there. It's also flaking oh. space by human being. Then it's proof. That, that's why I mentioned the scientific analysis we have to put in. Then Even after that, you send it overseas for yeah. carbon dating. Yeah. With crystallization and make up a new coarse type of rocks, minerals. So you you try not to step on stones, lah. I suppose. Not really. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is the real hand axe. So they go like this, you know, and they can use both sides. See the ring here? Yes. Yeah. So this is uh, the sandstone mm. before the impact. Okay? This is a mud stone mm. before the impact. Mm. After the impact, they melted together and become layering. 
Okay. Mud and sand, mud and sand. Of Africa. Yes. We have a, we, a lot of old evidence in Africa, 7 million, 4 million. But outside of Africa, this is the oldest one. Okay. Older okay. than the Georgian uh, man. So the importance of any human evidence is to prove what type, what species is. Oh. And then it proves the comparison out of Africa or multi regional. Oh, okay. Right. You know? So this is the rim? Yeah, this part of the rim. But it's already break down certain area. Hmm. What am I looking at? Which is the part of the rim? Not not the end there, but oh. in front a little bit. Oh. Yes, in front a little bit. It's the one with the conifer trees? Yeah. And also this is the center. This one one tall tree. Yeah. That's the center. That Look, it's, yeah, yeah. it's a different... When we found this site, I, I don't think the 100% nomadic because they have the raw material here they have the lake mm. for the food and drinks you know mm, mm, mm. why do they want to move other part of this area you know? so the nomadic theory also from this result from this finding put a question mark mm. during that the period paleolithics are nomadic isn't it? Uh, normally yeah. normally nomadic hunter gatherers yeah. you know because neolithic is the agriculture period where they have the settlements all this thing yeah. but for me Bukit Puno is something different the original is the third layer, okay? with the stone oh, of the other oh. wall. So, so from there we know how thick the culture layer. Mm. We use this side to make a stone tool. You know? So we have the debitage, we have the finish and finish you know, right? Workshop of car. Mm -hmm. You have the finished car, you have hand finish, you have the tool, you know, you have the waste. It's all this uh, quasite rock. Quartz. Uh, okay. Quartzite. So from this we know the helmet from here. So the they will get the uh, this hammer stone. Hmm. This is mark of hammer stone. So the so okay. get the flake. Oh. This really uh, that's why I'm telling you. Uh, hmm. I need your help in terms of uh, the knowledge base evidence. You know. Oh. Uh, the with, different uh, kinds of uh, things. because here you you know how they choose the rock. Okay. This is logic thinking without geology 101, you know. Mm -hmm. you know? Uh, they know what type of technology they use. Okay. They know what type of stone or product they want to produce. Not produce kapak ke, parang ke, pisau. Macam kita, kita ada different type. Heavy duty, light duty, kan? Mm. Uh, so they know. But this is really the technology base that we know that developed from here to what we have right now. Mm. The stone first. Stone technology. Very good. Uh, okay. So this is really very important. Okay. Uh, so they, they had the knowledge. Yeah. You're telling me they had the knowledge. Yeah, okay. they know. They know how to choose rock. They know how to play. It's very difficult, you know. And this is 1.83 million years ago. Yeah. So it's very high tech. Homo sapiens uh, sapiens, uh, he says. Uh, very high tech. Yes, uh, it is. Don't think they are just uh, no. jungle people. No, 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 no. no, no. no. Okay. 